I'm Ethan. And I'm Josh. And go f We're Heel Flip, and for our segment of Hampshire Creatives, we're doing board culture. We are going to be looking at the culture of skateboarding. <laughs> Skateboarding and longboarding both derived from surfing back in the 1940s, when surfers wanted something to do when the waves were flat. Skateboarding really kicked off in the 70s where these vintage videos are from. Celsius has always been one of the key places for skateboarding in the UK, with Celsius Skate Park being first built in the 1950s, making it arguably one of the only skate parks in the world. With several skate shops in the area and many large and small skate parks, skateboarding in the southern country has always been a constant trend in the area. Longboarding has evolved into many slide tricks and downhill. Like skateboarding, there has been many different longboarders from the Hampshire area who have entered competitions all over the UK and gained sponsorships. I don't know, there's not much to say about helmets, it's just silly if you don't wear them. That's it. They don't like, they have a really bad image. Like if someone, like a group of 10 skateboards walking down the street, I'd probably cross. Even if I had my longboard, they're just not, it's like a fashion icon really. Uh, yeah, I'm not good at skateboarding, it's just not my thing. And the reason why I longboard is because I use it to get around mostly. And then it just sort of evolved into this sort of stuff. Oh, it's great. I mean, there's loads of people like who are nice rather than skateboarding. And it's just, there's more events and there's, it's fun! Oh, oh god, no, no litter. We always put it in the back of the car. Uh, yeah, we all... There is like the side of it where you shouldn't go there too often, but there is the side of it where spots are safe to actually skate on. Like hills which are dead ends, they're the best ones, but there's always rich people down who are like... Aah! So it's not very good. But yeah, you just got to respect it. If you respect it, then the people tend to respect you. So it's life, really. It's not just skating. Skateboarding has evolved into just mainly just pop tricks and park. There have been many different. Yeah. Um, what got me into skateboarding over longboarding is longboarding is more for cruising and just rolling about, whereas skating is more learning and progressing. Right, the culture of skateboarding is pretty pretty chilled out. Everyone's friends. Um, we all sort of help each other to learn tricks, help each other film, get some videos out. It's all pretty relaxing, really. Good times. Getting spots is pretty hard sometimes. You get kicked out a lot, which is really annoying. But um, most of the time, you meet friendly people. They just ask you to leave, or we cooperate. Meet the odd rude person. This is really angry and swears at you. Like, you're like, wow, what are we doing? Skate shops have been thriving in recent decades, selling both skateboards and longboards. The difference in people who buy skateboards and longboards, the difference in people who buy skateboards are usually for ones who like doing tricks and doing park, you know, uh, just hanging around with uh, mates, um, doing all that sort of things. Uh, however, the difference between uh, people who have longboards like to do thrilling stuff. Um, it's an adrenaline sport. It, um, you know, people like to get a buzz out of it. The uh, different communities, um, from 
skateboarding and longboarding, I'll say skateboarding first, is that skateboarding is mostly for social, it's social, right, standing around, um, it's more of a competition thing, like who do the best trick, it's more of learning and stuff like that, um, it's, yeah, it's social and fun, you get to meet another scooter people and BMX people, um, however, as in the longboarding community, right, it's not so much of a park meet, but it's more such a community group meet, sort of like groups on Facebook, meeting on hills, uh, local hills, and that like hills out a couple of miles away. And it's more of a closer community, I'd say, because the safety in it has to be, it has to be top notch in it. Skaters, skateboarders in park think that not wearing a helmet is cool. I mean, it's cooler than wearing a helmet and sometimes you get taken the piss out of it because of it. And really, I don't agree with that at all. Um, well, as longboarders, as we are doing extreme sports, extreme stuff, protection, such as helmets, are, is mandatory. Mandatory, sorry. Um, and it, it comes into the social thing because everyone was like, oh no, why are you not wearing a helmet? Why are you not wearing a helmet? Because it's that dangerous you can die from.